Good morning, my human. Did you sleep well? <laughs> oh, th this is your phone. Well, if you know it's your phone, why did you ask me what it was? You're a very silly human sometimes. Oh, I'm going through your phone. Oh, to make sure that nobody is talking to you that I don't want talking to you. No, I don't think it's an invasion of privacy. Oh, well, there aren't that many people that I don't want speaking to you. How many people have you dated? Okay, that many. And also, um, that girl that put her scent on you last week, mm, I don't want her calling you. Oh, I know she's never called you, but I'm blocking her number. No, she didn't give it to me. I got it. Well, do you remember how I said that I was training AI image generators? Well, as you may recall, I had a little trouble with the fingers. So, now I've moved on to verifying information from search engine results. I use various databases to compare and contrast to make sure that the search engines are giving the correct results. And so I thought that as long as I have access to these databases, I can use them to get some information on people that I don't want contacting me. Making a preemptive strike. Yes, yes, that's what it was called. Abusing my position. <laughs> so that I could keep these women from bothering us. Well, I said why not, because I don't want them talking to you. Because you're mine. And because they want you to be theirs. And so we have a conflict, and I'm going to win. They said as much when they put their scent on you. For instance, that woman that was at that party just two weeks ago. The one I hissed at. Yes, I remember you saying that that was rude. I still don't understand why. Anyway, it was very easy to tell that she wanted to have you for herself. Well, because of her pupils. Yes, her pupils. When she spoke to you, her pupils dilated. And, and her lips flushed. And, and she touched you. She put her scent on you. Those are all things that humans do when they want to own another human. Oh, I learned all about it. I read about it. In a magazine about perfume samples. It was called Cosmopolitan. Well, yes, I did wake up that day and choose violence, uh, but... Uh, I don't understand. What is the other choice? Oh. No. I don't think I would choose that. That doesn't sound like a very effective or satisfying way to dissuade someone who wants to take what's yours. Violence is much better. Well, I didn't just block people you used to date and who want to take you away from me. I also blocked people that you don't want to speak to. Well, well, like your boss. No. No, you don't want to talk to him. You, you always say that you don't like him and you don't want to talk to him. And every time he calls, you roll your eyes and say, not him again. So I blocked him for you. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to go to work. I told you, I have a job. I can give you money. What about your job? Job satisfaction, you said you don't like your job. You're very dissatisfied. Okay, I don't understand 
why your self-respect is tied to your job. <laughs> is this about the money again? I've got money. I can take care of us. I can take care of you. You can be like my pet. I already have a collar for you. <sighs> well, why is it insulting? <sighs> but... People think I'm your pet all the time. And I've never been insulted. It just means that you own me. Like I own you. <laughs> they must be very silly people if they think that me being your pet means that you get to control me and tell me what to do. <laughs> I mean, imagine any human telling you a feline what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it is very funny, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, me being your pet, fine, but you could never tell me what to do. <laughs> oh. Wait. If... If you were my pet, then would that mean that I can't tell you what to do, either? I don't think I like that. What would I do when it was dinner time? What 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 would I do when it was time for me to have pet pets? And what 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 would I do when I needed you to not sit in my spot? I have to be able to tell you what to do. I, I... I don't think I would like for you to be my pet. Hmm? Co-ownership. Hmm. Tell me more about this. We could take turns. You mean like, you give me head pets and then I give you head pets? Okay, I'm listening. Share my favorite spot where the sunbeam hits the couch? Mm. I suppose for you I could do that. Sometimes. But what about the food situation? Who's going to bring me food? All right. So long as we don't have to compromise on the food. <sighs> you know, you can be a very reasonable human. I think I would be happy for you and I to co-own each other. But do you really want me to unblock your boss? <laughs> okay. Maybe later. Hmm. Oh. Yes, you can have your phone back. Soon. I'm not done co-owning it yet. You can have it after I'm done playing this fish game. You're in my spot. You're in our spot. How about I just sit on it with you? You sit on the spot, and I'll sit on you. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? <sighs> My turn to have the head pets. Good human. 